Okay. Welcome back to what I promise is the final part of a very, very big haul from Target. What can I say? Target just had a lot of good fall stuff. Now, just a little refresher, links to everything are down below and we're also using the Google Shopping on the side. With that, <laughs> let's just get into it. Let's just get into the haul. Well, back into the haul because we've already been in it for two days and there's still a lot of good stuff to show you. In case you wondered, I did letter. I lettered in theater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a loser. And you know what? I wouldn't have had it any other way. Loved it. So now we have that same denim that I am obsessed with, which is this black washed out denim in a skirt this time, midi length. And with it is my favorite sweater in this whole haul. How cute is this gradient? Like a little slouchy, oversized, tucked into the top of the skirt. Oh, this is perfect. It's soft and it's not itchy. I want you to know that if you're an allergy baby, no itch. This is your ideal sweater. I'm obsessed with it. The colors, man. The colors are just so good. Okay, so <laughs> this skirt definitely makes me look snatched, but I literally had to like give up my firstborn child to put it on. And maybe it's worth it, maybe it's not, but um, it doesn't really matter because I'm probably not gonna have kids anyway, so I just look good. So this is just a pure play, comfort, cool outfit. Basic, but honestly, you're gonna look chic in it. Carrot, paper bag, waist pants, whatever you wanna call them. Super comfortable, super cool looking. They look fancy, but really, they're just really comfortable for people with like a pear shape or big hips and thighs. That's why I bought them, because I knew they were built for girls like me. Now I'm gonna tuck it in because I'm going to accentuate my snatched waist because it is my favorite feature right now. I, it's like, I love that I'm snatched. I love it. And <laughs> it's okay to love what you love, right? Just a ribnet like sweater that I'm gonna tuck in. It's gonna look so expensive, but it's gonna be from Target. It's super cheap, which is the best part of this story. I didn't think these were gonna go on. <laughs> <laughs> I literally thought this was going to be another fail, but I undid the belt buckle and they went on. Oh. Oh. This haul has been an emotional journey for me. I know nothing about Australia, and I am going to apologize in advance to my Australian viewers. But this is what I feel like someone on the Outback would wear. It's the boots, it's the khaki pants, and then like a nice sweater. Like this is a nice day on the Outback. <laughs> I think it's just the pants. I think it's just the pants and the boots. And the top is just along for the ride, guys. I'm just saying what comes out of my brain and I am apologizing to the people of Australia for being ignorant. Cause I really don't, I should Google Australia today. I'm gonna Google Australia today. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna learn about Australia. And look at us, we're all learning and growing together. <laughs> this is a third date dress. Why do I call it a third date dress? Because the first date you should show up as you. The second date you should show up a little bit less than you because you want the contrast to be on the third date, you look fucking amazing. And this is a third date dress. Get a little hello, body con action. Let them know you got the goods, but they got to earn it because they got to be a decent human being for the first like two dates. I say this like I know anything about dating. Clearly I don't. I'm single. <laughs> if you've missed it the 85 times I've mentioned this and it's really long haul, I'm single. Again, call me. I am having a moment. I feel like such a bad bitch. I love the color, the heels. She's giving height. <sighs> I don't know where I'm going, but I may not come back. <laughs> this look is hot. I'm just going to say what it is. This has got major bad bitch energy. We've got some faux leather pants with a cargo, a little bit oversized, you know, kind of slung a little low because that's what the kids are wearing these days. And then... We're just going for a bralette top and faux leather as well because I'm feeling a little rebellious. Okay, so they're a little big, but I actually don't mind it. I think it's a really cute, like kind of skaterish look. And even with the leather bralette, it's like bad girl vibes. And I'm not typically that girl, but I feel like that girl in this outfit, so it works. 
And I love, I love having the audacity to wear light colored pants. I want you to see me. I don't want you to miss all of this. I want you to see it. I want you to see it. I'm not afraid to be seen. This haul has felt like therapy. <laughs> and I'm out. Okay, okay, I'm bringing it in. It's not all about me finding love. It's just weird when you're ready to date, you're ready to date. <laughs> if someone actually calls this number, I will lose my mind. I will lose my mind. Anyway, black denim <laughs> cargo pants. They're just really in guys. And I never thought I'd be like, cargo pants, cool. But they're cool again and I'm a sucker. So here I am, trendy as all hell with my cargo pants. And with it, I love this color. It is a bright purple. It just, I don't know why it speaks to me. Someone once told me that if you're a person that likes purple, you like really like purple. And I think I'm slowly becoming one of those people. Though I will never forsake orange for purple, I just can wear both. I'm a colorful person, what can I say? <laughs> every pair of jeans, every pair of jeans. Why must you hate me, Targets? What did I do to you? <sighs> Silver lining, this sweater is cute. <laughs> Listen, it's fall. And an essential layering piece. Yes, I do have something that's actually just an essential in this haul. A ribbed sweater dress. They're super great. You can wear them over leggings. You can wear them alone. They're great for layering and they're comfortable. So I had to put one of these in here because you know what? It's just practical. It's just practical. I am feeling myself a little bit too much in this dress. I know. <laughs> Body rolls when it feels right. And it feels right right now. Let me be very honest with you. This last look is literally, these two pieces are left and don't have anything to go with. I don't know if this actually works, but I'm gonna be real with you. Putting together as many outfits are, as are in this haul is a lot of work. And at the end of the day, you know, you just go, this is good enough. I'm gonna wear this. So I am not touting this as amazing. In fact, I don't stand by any of these outfits. They may all be terrible, but I had a lot of fun making them. And this one was just, well, the leftovers. So we have a pair of orange corduroy pants. If you know, I've been on a corduroy journey this year and I just want corduroys that are long enough and cute. And the fact that these are in a burnt orange color, a color I dearly love, I'm hoping they work. Now with it, I've paired, and actually I think this is gonna work quite well, is a half and half oversized blouse. It's kind of cool. Oh, oh, there's a weird mark on the back. Somebody definitely wore this a return day. I mean, it's not something that a wash couldn't get out, but it is a little gross. Either way, I feel like this could be like a pumpkin spice vibe. Maybe this is gonna work out way better than I thought it was gonna work out. And I was just doubting myself. In short, let us end this haul with that thought. Never doubt yourself. This is like a fall fantasy. It's corduroy, it's khaki, it's warmth, it's comfort. It makes you feel of like a cinnamon spiced pumpkin dream. But listen to my pants. How can I sneak up on anybody? They're gonna hear me from coming from like a mile away. They're gonna be like, where's Anna? Just listen for this. That's a no for me, dog. I can't be quiet. I'm incapable of being quiet. That's what I learned from this. I'm incapable of being quiet. Corduroy pants or not, it's just not a thing for me. I will never be a quiet person. <laughs> so why is that a judgment criteria for pants? It's faulty because it wasn't possible even without the pants. The pants have changed nothing. They've just added a fun sound effect to my life. So really, the pants are adding to my life versus taking away. Took a while to get there, guys, but we got there. We shared this moment together. Okay, I don't usually do this. I don't usually introduce things at the end of the haul, but this was such a horrific haul for denim. 
and I do happen to have a pair of jeans that I really, really love. And they probably fit me better than any pair of jeans I've had in the last several years. And so I figured just to do you guys a solid, because if you're built like me, you did not get any good denim out of this haul at all. And I really do believe in this brand and I probably will never haul this brand because they're just, they're random. It's the Judy blue jeans, which you guys have probably seen on TikTok. The hype is very real. And honestly, these jeans, I could sleep in them. They're so comfortable, but they also give me a nice snatch. They fit my body perfectly. So if you are pear shaped, I just wanted to let you know that this is an option because as I am losing weight and my body's changing, I'm really struggling to find denim I love. And this is the first pair, um, you know, since I've gone down a couple sizes that I've really felt beautiful in. So I wanted to make sure you knew about them because I think that's an important part of like my body changing is continuing to feel beautiful in the clothes I wear. And um, sometimes it's not fun when you don't know what you wear anymore. I used to know like every single size for every single plus size brand out there that worked for me. And I don't know that anymore. But when I found these, they just made me feel like myself by allowing me to wear something that fit me well, but also reflected my personality. So I could not recommend these more. I will try to like link the exact denim I have, but I will say small caveat, these do sell out because they are really good. So if they're not there, just keep checking. That's what I did. And I honestly, I will buy the next size down when I need them because of how these jeans make me feel. And that's why I'm sharing them because they make me feel fantastic. Also that booty pop. <laughs> now that is everything I tried on from Target. And to be candid, I don't remember how many outfits I tried on. So I'm gonna make John make a montage right here and show how many we actually had, because I don't remember. I'm gonna take a guess and say 27. <laughs> and now John is gonna show us the real number. Yeah, I don't know if I can do this again, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope my literal obsession with everything Target has this season brought many of you happiness. And with that, I will now take a nap. Links to everything are down below. I'm also using Google Shopping. So if you're like wanting to find the item by look, I've not only tagged them there, but also tagged them by the time they show in the video. So as an item is shown, it should be popping up in that little side browser. So it's gonna make finding these items a lot easier because there's just so many of them. And with that, I'm gonna go take a nap. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and yada, 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 peace.